So Gunna put out his first song today since being arrested with the YSL Rico trial. And back in December, he was released from jail pleading guilty with the Alford plea. And if you don't know what the Alford plea is, the Alford guilty plea is a plea of guilty containing a protestation of innocence. The defendant pleads guilty, but does not have to specifically admit to the guilt itself. And we've all seen the infamous video of Gunna in court saying yes ma'am over and over. YSL is a music label and a game. And you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. And the big red flag was him saying yes ma'am to YSL being a gang because that's kind of a big basis of Thug's defense is that YSL is more of a record label than a gang. So of course a bunch of people that are on the internet are going to have their own opinion about this. Some people think he snitched, some people think he didn't. If you ask a majority of people who are in gangs, they all said he did snitch because he opened his mouth in general just by saying yes ma'am. So here's the song right here, Bread and Butter. I'm going to read some of the lyrics. A lot of it's him saying shit like this, saying fuck them boys. I found out who my real partners and who was only with me because I had dollars. Never F to N word, always stayed solid. Kept it real with N words, never lied, and always stay honest. Love my bro so much, I never change on him. I would imagine that's about Young Thug. Every N word speaking on my name could have some real problems. That sounds like it could almost be a threat. <laughs> You switched on me when you know you in business with a rat. And the boy that's like your brother, nobody speak on that. Some people think this is about little Dirk switching on him. Dirk went on Academics Podcast calling him a rat like a week ago or whatever. But I don't think it's about that because that'd be too quick of a turnaround in my opinion. But who knows? There's a genius annotation saying it could be about little baby associating himself with Pierre Thomas from QC who had paperwork surface a few weeks ago saying that he cooperated with the police. So there's a lot going on here. You still fuck with the N-word that don't get your partner whacked. Fuck, I pay all these lawyers lawyers all those mills for so it sounds like he's mad at his lawyers a little bit complaining about paying them never gave no statement or agreed to take no stand on them lawyers and the da did some sneaky shit i fell for it that's the most alarming statement from the entire song right there is him saying that his lawyers and the da tricked him in some way and he fell for it like what does that mean is he saying that he didn't know what the alfred plea was and he didn't know that they were gonna make him say yes ma'am over and over <laughs> maybe he didn't get explained at the best and he unintentionally snitched on his friend a little bit but i've been seeing that he can't even testify against them if he wanted to so this is confusing i can get him hit but i'm gonna chill and just see how it go is another very concerning lyric. <laughs> Young Thug is being accused of putting hits out on people, and he puts that in a new song. <laughs> like, that's kind of dumb to do that, to be honest. And there's that whole argument about whether or not lyrics can be used in court. Gonna he too slick, you ain't gonna know which way I pled. Yeah, so a lot of this song is basically gonna saying he's weeding out the rats in his life, and that people are confusing it, and he didn't snitch on anyone, and that maybe his lawyers and the DA tricked him, which is very concerning. I wish we could get some sort of interview with him, but I doubt he's gonna do that until after the trial is done. I'll keep covering the Young Thug trial. If you're new to my channel, subscribe from Instagram. Fucking love you, boys. Peace out.